Albuquerque, New Mexico. High winds are bad news at the International Balloon Fiesta. Oh, the wind's starting to pick up, huh? The spectator fears problems as he aims his camera to the sky. It's too dug down hard. But he can't imagine what's about to happen. There's smoky out there. Oh, oh, he hit, he hit the tower. He's on the tower. Oh, he tore a hole in him. The Smoky Bear Balloon slams into the radio tower. It punctures and bursts like a party balloon. A 69-year-old pilot and two kids are trapped in the basket and stuck dangerously high in the sky. Time's running out. The basket's weight is causing the balloon to tear even more. At any second, the three riders could come crashing down 600 feet to the ground. Oh, oh I hope that thing don't rip or let the basket fall. But look closely at the tower. There's action that can't be seen from below. That dark figure is 14-year-old Troy Wells. Amazingly, he's climbing out of the basket. Every now and then, we'd like feel a jerk, and we'd be like three or four feet lower. So we were pretty sure that I was still going to fall. Now he's helping Aaron Whitaker onto the tower. Aaron is only 10 years old. And those winds are hitting 80 miles an hour. It's tearing. climbing down the tower. They are. Yeah. I hope they're young people because uh, that's a hell of a long way down. Slowly, carefully, all three begin to climb down the tower's maintenance ladder. The perilous descent takes nearly two hours. With every step, they could plummet to their death. But they make it. I was pretty sure we were going to fall. I was actually thinking that I'd be one of those people on the news that I see. I was also kind of scared that Bill would slip, because if Bill slipped, he would have taken us all down with him. All I wanted to do was live and get the boys down safely. Back on the ground, there's a tearful reunion for the boys and their families, and a reminder that not even Smokey Bear could prevent this disaster. Thank <laughs> you.